Ellie, you could tell the chief I'm getting very close to Rex now. Oh, that's really sweet. Frank? Yeah, I'm looking after the evidence locker for Ellie. So, you like Rex, do you? No, I mean that I'm getting close to arresting him. I found out where his gang's going to be tonight. Where's that? Construction yard near Paradise Sands. I know the foreman there, Albert Spindlerooter. He rebuilt my house after I blew up my house when I tried redecorating my house. Did you know you shouldn't rewire bathtubs? Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm replacing one of Rex's guys on a job there. Tell Ellie for me? Yes, sir! Sorry, it's an emergency. Are you sure you turned the power off? Yeah. The light went red on the fuse box. Oh, by the way, my doctor told me I was colorblind this morning. <laughs> Are you stupid? Somebody, get him to the chopper. I, I mean, hospital. Uh, now who's going to cover his shift? Nope. No uh, way. I've got plans. Nope. No way. How about me? You are plumbing a water main, not saving the world, Damkov. Uh, fine. You need a uniform. You, give him your clothes, your helmet, and your hammer. No, it's okay. I'll find another one. Hey, you'll need to move that barrel. Push it over by that cone and stuff. I gotta figure out who my contact is in this place. Uh, hurry! And get through the door! Don't you have a crowbar? <laughs> Mr. 
Listen, fix that fuse box. I don't need any more collateral damage. That you, Jimmy? I got a message from Rex. He wants you to get a crane from this place. Gotta go! Well, that was to the point. Don't worry about smashing that crate. It's expendable. I'm hurting from carrying around bricks all day. Have you been lifting from the knees? No, from the construction site. Oh, oh, that gate needs repairing. Did you not hear it jingle all the way? That steamroller was fun, but have you got something a bit bigger I can drive? Like a, ooh, crane? <laughs> Trust you with a crane? <laughs> Thanks. Show me that you're a real construction worker. Fix the hoist controls over there. those parts yet? Find the parts! How's the project going? Well, the first floor is going great, but the second floor, that's another story. Woman reminds me of something. Isn't anyone else doing any work here? Oh, I'm sorry if this seems like a raw deal. The foreman reminds me of something. You want to drive the crane? Yeah, yeah? Then get through the door up there! The door! The door!
Oh, who built that wall there? Idiots! Use explosives to get rid of it! Come on! Come on! Don't you understand a simple command? Oh? No reply? Good! Stop walking, man! Stop running, man! Explosives are in the storeroom! Elevator won't work. Fix the fuse box above it. Glad I remembered my hard hat today. I can still feel where that brick landed on me. Don't you know how to use an elevator? Put the fire out. Wait a second. Why is the building even on fire? Which stupid set the building on fire? How do I tell them that I don't like coffee? I mean, if I tell them I like Earl Grey tea, will they fire me? I think my cousin was fired from the police force for not liking donuts. That or stealing the computer. Shut off the gas valve! Use your strength! <laughs> What's the matter? Can't you bash... Oh, come on. There's got to be a spare around here. Something I can help with? Doubt it. I dropped the key to the gate shed and the guard dog ran off with it. Can't you just take the key back off of it? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, no, wait. I actually want to keep both my hands. I wish I hadn't eaten my lunch. Then I might have been able to lure that dog out of his kennel. Getting this crane better lead me straight to Rex. You got the key! You just saved my neck, buddy. Go on! Use it to get into the gatehouse! Oh, there you are. What? How did you... I'm not Albert. I'm Werner, his twin. Oh. Huh. I thought you'd look different. So, you want to drive a crane, eh? Yes. Then you better build it first. No. Oh. Come on, build it. I could use that super build. Those things are awesome.
Think you can drive a crane? Get the crane over to that building! Hurry! the crane to pick up the pipes. I could hey, put it in the right trench. Now, do the other ones. Are you going somewhere? Don't worry. I'll be back. I hope you don't mind if the crane isn't here when you return, because I'm going to use it to pick up Rex with the very long arm of the law. Huh, that one wasn't too bad. You got the crane, Jimmy. Great. Rex will be real happy. Yeah. Let's go drive this to wherever Rex is. <laughs> You're such a kidder, Jimmy. We're using the crane to get something else. I'll open the gate so you can get it out of here. Get out of the crane, Jimmy! Uh, sure! Just give me a second! Hey there! Thanks! I gotta drive it up to the observatory. Stay here and see if anyone follows me. I get the feeling someone might try and infiltrate the gang tonight. No! Yeah! Oh. Good. Meet me up there in ten minutes! Sure. Sure. <laughs> I am brilliant at disguises. Oh. All the days to leave my glasses at home! Oh. I should know the location of their base soon. That's great, Chase. What's holding you up? My contact in Rex's gang wants me to do something up at the observatory first. But you could give Natalia the good news. If Rex has her dad, their base is where he'll be. Well, I'll try, but I just got her answer machine. I think she's sick of me reminding her to walk my dog. I'll call her myself later then. Rex wants us to steal the telescope out of the observatory. 
Yeah, Rex does love, um, astrology? Ha! <laughs> it ain't for Rex. It's something for the old man, ain't it? Right. The old man? Well, what are you waiting for? You got a pneumatic drill from that construction place, right? Use that! You believe in astrology, then? No, but that's probably because I'm a Pisces. Great! I'll drive the truck around back. Now I gotta fix the crate. I may have damaged it on the way up here. Keep an eye out for company. And if you see any, deal with them. You've been practicing, Jimmy? Anyway, I got this hunk of junk all fixed up. We gotta get the observatory's roof open, because I doubt that telescope is gonna fit through the front door. Fix up that fuse box real good. It's wired into the dome. is get the telescope onto the back of that truck, and we're out of here, man. Go on, get in the crane. Huh? Now stick it on the back of the truck, facing backwards. That way you can see any cops following you from a... Nice! Okay, now get in the truck. Yeah, okay.
Just arrived. Uh... Excellent. All we need now is the password for the professor's device. I could soften him up. Uh... No need. My men have finally secured the leverage we have been pursuing. <laughs> um... But... A boss. Your camera's at the wrong angle again. What? Botherations! <laughs> Technology! And it's making your voice go funny. Ah! I'll call you later. Professor? That must be Professor Kowalski. <laughs> How lucky was I to overhear that, eh? That's the truck the imposter was driving! Uh oh, I think my cover's blown. He's gotta be here somewhere! Find him! That was close. I hate you, elevator. Come on, try your best. I'm going straight. I know my rights. Massive fan blades this time. Oh, good, no fan blades, just laser cannons. Followed by rotating energy beam things, I bet this shaft just ends in a giant furnace. That must be how they sneak most of the equipment in. Oh. 
Give this thing an upgrade. Right. Just pretend it's one of those claw machines from the fun fair. What's going on? Uh oh. Hey! That should stop them sneaking any more equipment in. And I can use this engine to get through the reinforced door over there. Knock, knock. Who's there? Resistance is useless. Coming through! My very own jetpack.
Whoa, all that from one tiny bundle of dynamite. <laughs> cool. And what's behind this door? Professor Kowalski, please, be reasonable. Forrest Blackwell! Forrest Blackwell?! You lied to me! You said my research would benefit society! Oh, it will. Just not this society. 
The society which spurned my gift. The society which made me look like a fool when I offered them paradise. Building your monstrosity in Bluebell National Park would have caused a poisonous fallout. None of the wildlife would have survived. Oh, boo-hoo. Like we don't have enough squirrels. Go on. Do your worst. Professor, I would never hurt you. Dad! Oh, my Natalia. I've seen what they're planning. Don't help them! Off you go, my dear. I trust my intentions are clear. Yes, the password for the device is Forest Black Smell. Ah. Mm. Looks like it works. Thank you, Professor Poe. This computer! Will somebody get me a new computer? What about my daughter? What about her? Oh, Natalia. What have I done? Whoa! Uh, room service? Right. I've got to get up to the professor. Oh, 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 oh. It's me, Professor. Chase McCain. You're not a professor. You're a police officer. No, that's... Never mind. I'm here to rescue you. Ah, wonderful. Press the button on the control panel behind me. Thank you. Goodness me. Chase McCain. The last time I saw you, you were completely ruining my daughter's life. Uh, thank you? Ah, you did her a favor. Secretly, she's much happier being a paramedic than a reporter. But now, we must rescue her from the forest Blackwell's clutches. Yeah. I can't believe Blackwell's a bad guy. He seems so nice. He is a villain. Now quickly, rebuild the last Transformer below. Right. They have Natalia! Now turn on the power supply to the Transformers! Excellent! And this is how we are going to escape from here! 
I will disengage the docking clamps. We are out! Oh, brilliant flying, pilot man! Oh, my bad. <laughs> Natalia is there. Yeah, she could hurt someone. And we need to figure out what Blackwell's up to. What was the research you were doing for him? I was developing a phased polarity exclusion field. Right. Now, obviously, I understand what that is. But how would you describe it to, say, a child? Hmm. Imagine you have a pair of subatomic particles. A younger child than that. Oh. Uh, it's a kind of a magic bubble which nothing can get through. Wow. What's he going to use that for? I don't know. All I do know is that he wants revenge against Lego City. Then I'd better warn the police department. <laughs> Ellie, I got him to the base. He was inside Mount Cashmore. And get this. Forrest Blackwell is an evil mastermind, and he's behind this whole thing. Forrest Blackwell? But he's a good guy. He was just on the TV. He was stroking this white cat. Oh, wait, he is evil. What? Why was he on TV? He's holding a press conference outside Blackwell Tower this afternoon. Said he had some news which would change Lego City forever. Everyone's gonna be there. Well, you've got to stop him. Tell the chief. I will, but, uh... Do you have some evidence I can give him? Or donuts? No, but I'm gonna get some. Ooh, I, I would quite like an Applefield donut, please. Evidence! I'm gonna get some evidence. Okay, look, I'll go to Blackwell Tower. Most of the department's gonna be there for the press conference anyway. And I'll keep working on the chief. But call me as soon as you've got something he has to act on. Thanks, and be careful. <laughs> We are close. Blackwell has a private helipad we can make use of. Think you can open it? There you go. Well, I could have done that. 
Blackwell's mansion is huge. We should split up. Yes. Good luck, Chase. I hope all the security means Natalia's nearby. A silver statue and a giant letter B. Subtle and classy, Blackwell. like he paid Frank to do his wiring. The playground? That's just weird. What's weirder is I really want to play on that slide.
Maybe there's another switch. Chase, I'm outside Blackwell Tower. Looks like most of Lego City's here, too. Woohoo! Party! Put your top back on, honey. You're still on duty. Listen, I still haven't managed to get through to Natalia. That's because Blackwell has her. Natalia's dad's a scientist who was refusing to help Blackwell build some kind of shield thing, so Blackwell used Natalia as leverage. Long story short, your dog probably didn't get walked today. Wow. Okay, well, the conference won't be starting for a while. They put up this giant electronic countdown. Well, that's not ominous. Once I find something, I'll call you. Sorry, but it looks like I found Force Blackwell's secret. He's a model-making nerd. He is an evil genius. This is his plan. Look, this is my phase polarity F, my magic bubble. He means to fly to the moon. How? The shuttle on Apollo Island isn't big enough for all his cronies. And you can't exactly hide a giant rocket in Lego City. The countdown! Blackwell Tower! Ellie. You have to get everyone away from Blackwell Tower. Now! Okay, but why? Blackwell Tower is a rocket. When it takes off, it'll fry everything within ten blocks. I'm sending you evidence. Right. Everyone, you need to clear the area! Look, we don't have long, but we may be able to help. How? I'll tell you on the way. I'm going to Blackwell Tower. I need you to go to my building in Auburn Docks. Okay. What am I doing? I just said, you're going to my building in Auburn Docks. And when I get there, 
I have working prototypes of the magic bubble machine there. They're in my laboratory. What are you gonna do with them? I'm going to invert the polarity of the neutron that... Uh, I'm going to tell the mystical pixies that live inside there... I'm not an idiot, Professor. Are you gonna use the magic bubble to contain the rocket's exhaust? Yes, exactly. And what if you can't? Uh, then I'm going to get a very good tan. Blackwell Tower, Chase. Have you got to my lab? Not yet. Then drive faster! This is a matter of life and, you know, the other thing. Oh, and your chief has dispatched another officer to help you when you get there. We're going to need more shield generators than I first thought. Hurry up, Chase! You need to get to my lab! Chase, everything depends on you. would they trust with such an important mission? Literally anyone. <laughs> You're so funny! <laughs> Although it was impossible to get into Blackwell Tower, I've managed to hack into their launch computer and slow it down slightly. You don't have long, though. Don't worry. I'm at your laboratory. Good. Then drive the shield prototypes here as fast as you can. And drive carefully. Okay. I can definitely do one of those things.
Kowalski, and where are you? Uh, I'm about halfway there, Chief. Not good enough. This thing's getting ready to launch. Find the accelerator, and don't take your foot off of it! Chase! You need to get here faster! I cannot stop the countdown! I'm driving as recklessly as I can, Professor! Get in trouble for that. one of the magic bubble machines for you. I should probably have mentioned they're in self-assembly kit form, so you will need to build them. I'm too busy slowing the countdown. Professor told me to wait here and not touch anything. Oh man, look! It's all in pieces! That happened to me when I bought that painting. But then the guy at the store explained it was actually a jigsaw puzzle. I managed to put it together, but it took ages because the picture was of the color brown. Then I turned it over and someone had painted a load of kittens on the back of it. Just like they had on the box it came in! evacuated all the citizens. I hope you set up those things right, McCain! Me too. There's no way we'll get to a safe distance now, and I don't do well in the heat. I do. Honey, that rocket's flame is gonna be burning at 3,000 degrees! That is hot! I better take off my jacket. How long do we have, Professor? Uh, about minus three seconds! I saw that Natalia was on board. What? That was good work, Chase. He is talking to me, right? You've saved a lot of lives today, and uh, I'm a big enough man to admit when I've made a mistake. Or two. Which is still a lot less than you've made. Thanks, Chief. Mayor Gleason, I need a favor. 
for the man who just stopped Lego City being destroyed? Name it. I still have some people I need to arrest. I'll call Apollo Island right away. I think they've got a shuttle they can lend you. Oh, oh, shotgun! Professor Kowalski? Don't worry. I'm going to get Natalia back. Uh, thank you, Chase. Is there anything I can do to help you? Uh, I guess it'd be useful if I knew how to fly a shuttle. Can you give me a crash course so I don't, uh, crash? No need. The engineers at Apollo Island will fly it by remote control. What about Blackwell's one? I'll have to get it back to Lego City. Oh, you can cross that bridge if you come to it. If? Uh, sorry, when? I meant when. This way, sir. We're getting the rocket ready right now.
Chase, I have to warn you that takeoff is extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, I think I can handle it, Professor. I've seen the movies. And launching in 10, 9. <laughs> We do that in case the astronauts change their mind. Hey, what do you know? In space, you can hear them scream. Well done! You are in outer space! Now, to get to the moon will take almost 10 seconds. Oh, okay, you're about the moon now. What? Uh, yeah, it's really close and very small. But don't tell anyone, it's a secret. Now, it's time for your spacewalk. You need to prepare very carefully. I want you to check and recheck your suit before you exit the command module. <laughs> sure thing, Professor. <laughs> That's weird. I don't feel any lighter. I bet it's because of those cookies I ate in the rocket. Thank <laughs> you. 
Lego City selected as destination. Disengaging shield. Launching in five, four, three. I hope you're strapped in safely. One. Blackwell, we're going home. No, I will not return to that society of blinkered fools. I tried building something truly wonderful for them. A self-contained world which they'd never have to leave. An utopian habitat that catered to their every whim and desire. It was a monument to my genius. You were a great man once, Blackwell. But you've gone crazy. Crazy! Your monument was nothing more than an apartment block with a shopping mall. Turn us around! Sorry! <laughs> We're locked in. Bring her over here. Chase! That's pretty low of you, Blackwell. Threatening a lady. 
Oh, no, no, no. I would never hurt a lady. I just want her to watch you get squashed. Hey there, McCain. Thanks so much for getting me this from the museum. <laughs> wow, that has literally come back to bite me. Whoa, that was close. Be careful. We'll need those energy tanks to run my moon base. No, you do, do you? Just sit there like a lemon, Rex. Get him! Way, Kowalski. Where you going, Blackwell? But regrettably, you pair are still in one piece. Although, I'm happy to report that I don't think that will be the case for long. Stop it! Oh, but don't worry. Everyone important is safe in the command module with me. Along with billions of studs worth of gold. So really, this is just a setback. A minor inconvenience. Stop tossing puzzles. You see, 
Once the command module is safely back on the ground, I will begin anew. I will gather my resources and rebuild my empire somewhere else. But this isn't the last you've seen of me. I will have my revenge! Huh? Ah! Phew. Chase! Natalia, are you alright? Where are you? I'm coming! What? Hurry up! The other person has been disconnected and will crash into the ground in three minutes. Please hang up and dial again. Natalia! Professor Kowalski's on his way. He said the command module will touch down any minute now. And what about the tons of falling debris from the rocket? Don't worry, Chief. I've got you covered. The debris splashed down at sea, Marion. Mind if I park here? You've done it again, Chase. Almost. Blackwell got away in an escape pod, and Rex, well, he got away too, I... Rex? <laughs> Rex isn't a problem. Oh? 
He crashed headfirst through someone's roof ten minutes ago. Get this off of me! <laughs> hey, Rex, you don't look very flushed with success. I, uh... Yeah. Ah, I thought you should get the arrest this time. You know what? You can have it, Chief. Some things are more important than work. Oh. Yeah, you're talking about video games, right? <laughs> If I make two more arrests this month, I win a waffle iron! <laughs> 